if it's weight you've lost, when you look in the mirror, all you're seeing is the scars. You're not seeing the new you that is emerging through. Hi Taurus, uh, welcome to your reading. Guys, this is the extended reading, the tailored reading from... Hold on, I'm turning around and look at my notes. <laughs> oh, when you feel like the odds are stacked against you. And yes, guys, I just come out of meditation for y'all. I'm shocked. I'm shocked for my Taurus because in meditation, guys, I picked up on you, you, you. You, Taurus. You restacked all the odds. Recently, you achieved something major, life-altering for yourself. You restacked all the odds that were against you and got them going for you. And you're working in your favor now. But you've been left with some kind of residue of uh, this energy of thinking it it wasn't perfect it wasn't perfect uh -uh. you're like no it's look i've got all the scars all the stretch marks all the evidence of where i've been in the past where i come from in the past there's proof I was reckless in the past. You've been left with some vulnerability issues where your victory, your success has been turned into a little bit of a, not so much of a celebration for you. It's got you uh, a little more self-conscious that you thought you weren't going to be after you achieved it. Wow. There's a part of you that just, you can't, there's, when the sun comes out, and the sun is out for you now, guys, because you have made a major achievement, success, but you're not allowing yourself to step into it, to appreciate it, to see the victory of it, because for you, you've got scars left over from the battle. And you're not recognizing. And Spirit is trying to get a point across to you that don't be ashamed of your scars, of your stretch marks, of your growing. I went through that battle, knocks and bruises, and I've come away. And yeah, I might have a little bit of a limp. But damn, I'm still walking. <laughs> you need to show that. Other people that are in lightness. With the battle you went through. You need to let them see. They need your real story. Not your story of perfection. See what Spirit's bringing out here. bottom of the energy we've got karmic ties karmic ties on the bottom of the energy bottom of the deck guys is your subconscious is the back of your mind it's the monkey brain that's always whispering to the front side of your brain and um having you uh react from it it has an effect on you the bad thing about it is the moon energy of our head. Uh, we don't, we're not paying attention to it and what it's saying and how it's affecting us in our way of thinking, feeling, and behaving. Um, over here, you feel a, a little bit betrayed. You've had major success, but yet you feel like you betrayed yourself. You betrayed yourself. This is supposed to be a glorious moment for you to be in the sun shining but you feel like you've betrayed yourself over past negligence and abandoning something you took you've gained 
self-discipline, you tamed something to get improvement, life-changing, altering uh, improvements for yourself, but you're not feeling the victory of it. You're not understanding because you're seeing what you've been left with. There's evidence of what was the karma, <laughs> the karma ties. Uh, everyone, if let's let's just use gaining weight and then losing gaining major weight and then losing major weight let's let's go at it from that way of viewing it it can be any circumstances though but the the uh negligence the abandonment see i betrayed myself i lost all the way i did i lost over 100 pounds guys <laughs> And I'm telling you this from a personal stance. In the last year, a little bit over a year, I've lost over 100 pounds. And I'm left with flabby, floppy, flag, flapping skin everywhere on my face, everything. The, look, let's, we got to laugh so we don't cry here. Because the one good thing is there's not so much skin left drooping on my jaws and my, my face that it, you know, in a windstorm, it blows around my head a couple of times and blinds me and <laughs> muffles me. <laughs> I mean, seriously, this is, this is something you've achieved something and there is evidence. There are signs of where you've been and what you've been through, but you think it's showing the negligence and the the abandonment, the, what well, we won't call it, reckless behavior from your past that got you where you you were at. And you're not realizing so many other people are in that same battle. If you got the victory over it, people need to know you're the inspiration, you're the lighthouse, you're the guide for them to give them hope to lift them up. But they don't need you to be perfect. They don't. I, nobody needs me to go out and have a facelift, guys, and have all the extra skin cut off. <laughs> I'm perfectly fine in the, the extra large skin suit when I'm down like medium now. I'm fine with that. And I'm okay for people to see that. And, and when someone comments about it, I'm, I'm more than happy to get into that conversation with them of what I did. Just share with them what I did. And hopefully it inspires them and motivates them, and but gives them the courage to stand out authentically, uniquely you. Show them battle scars. Somebody needs you to show them the real you. Where you've been, where you came from, and where you are today that you overcome. You restacked all those odds. And you got them to work in your favor. Mm -hmm. But we've got too many uncontrollable, I'm too nervous, self-conscious, vulnerable to actually show and talk about and share where I've been, this side of my face, when the sun comes out. And we know the sun is throwing the spotlight on you. It's a Leo energy. Uh, we automatically turn our heads, so I don't want anyone to see where I've been and where I come from. They need, they need you to share that part of yourself, your authentic, beautiful self with them. It's hard for us to do that, and we're going silence, and we're trying to avoid having to show and talk about and share that side of ourselves because it's brought up a lot of regrets. You, if it's weight you've lost, when you look in the mirror, all you're seeing is the scars. You're not seeing the new you that is emerging through. And with time, guys, for real, with time, don't. If you've made major weight loss and stuff, and it's not life threatening to have all your skin, extra skin, don't go rushing to get it cut off because there's this thing called autophagy. When your body stops burning fat and proteins, uh, it looks for extra things that are protein based and fat based to break down for you. 
when you're in famine kind of energy where you're, you know, it's called autophagy. Your skin will actually tighten back up over time. Yes. But we're sitting in regrets and the nakedness of our truth is being exposed of, even though I got the success, I achieved it. There's evidence. The naked truth. I'm afraid to show that. The whole story of it. You need to tell the whole story of it. Not just part of the story. Your past is the story. And where you are today finishes and tops off that story. And where you're going tomorrow keeps it going. It's always a part two. <laughs> a sequence. Yes, guys. Mm. Own your truth. Whether you think it's appealing to other people or not, own it. Do not be ashamed of yourself, of where you've been. Cut those ties with it. It's come out on betrayal. You've betrayed yourself. Yes. Yes. Your celebration turned into a yes. But it's not got the exclamation mark of a big, life-changing alteration, achievement. You're not jumping up and down anymore. Your celebration went into, yeah, two hands out instead of arms wide open. What else is Spirit bringing out on that? Take action. Is take action guys you've took the action it's not time to quit and sit down in this because you've got regrets there's evidence of the things I regret uh, just because I feel vulnerable just because my voice shakes I'm going to say it anyway I'm going to share it anyway I'm going to do it anyway you'll be surprised ask for help from others others are not yeah Mm. But ask for help. Know when it's time for, for you to ask others for help. But also, others, you are in a position now. Others need your help. Are you going to help them? Are you brave enough to help them? You are brave enough to go through the battle. It's not time for you to sit down and quit. There's something bit better, bigger and better. Yes, there is. Keep going. What else? Coming in over here on the naked truth. Don't stop. Don't stop now. Helpful people. This is saying, guys, whatever you want, whatever it is you were ultimately meant to step into to continue on. People are coming in to help you actually share what you've been through to get the full victory and feel it for yourself and stand in it proudly for yourself. Uh, communicate clearly. Communicate clearly. Mm -hmm. Bottom of the deck, we've got recovery. Mm -hmm. Finish up recovery. Because you have healed something. You've been through a battle and it's time for you to start Go all the way to come to the wholeness of what you fought so hard for. And then share that with others. You're definitely on the calling. If you made life-altering changes, you need to share it with others. Let's see what the universe brings out here. Koi fish. You're manifesting more love, prosperity, and wealth into your life. Yes. Yes. And time is up. No second chances. No revisiting. There's something better waiting. Yes. <laughs> you need to allow it. Over here. Unfolding beauty. Yes, you are. Stand in it, guys. Stand in it. Everything is unfold, unfolding as it should. Surrender and live in the unexpected. Be open, not closed off, to allow the unexpected. Arms wide open to this, guys. 
success and triumph, nothing will be able to get in your way. Not now. You don't win the battle. You will surely come out on top. Nothing. There's nothing for you to be ashamed of. Over here. Enchanted illusions. See through the veil of illusions. And have the courage to see things as they really are. Yeah, thinking that um, I lost all this weight, I, I, but look, <clears throat> I got all the stretch marks. How successful was that? How much did I achieve? I just traded one problem for another problem. No, I achieved. You achieved. You won a battle that others are fighting. They need your help. And they need the realness of what happens after you win that battle. After you've gone through that battle, you're going to come out with a few scars, a few knocks. Don't be ashamed of them. Rire them proudly. Let go of the illusion that everything was supposed to just be apps. I was supposed to look like a... Supermodel and that's 16 between 18 kind of energy. No, you weren't. You're supposed to look exactly like you look. Somebody, the hero that come out of the battle, that fought it and won it, and you got your scars to prove it. Up in the air, this situation has many unknown elements due to the influence of others. Mm -hmm. Quit worrying about what others, what you think others are perceiving, what they think about where you've been. If they've got a bad opinion, if they, they can't see the victory, if they can't celebrate you won that battle with you, they're not your monkey. Let them go. Bottom of the deck, Leo, courage. Boost your courage so you can put yourself out there. In a bigger way. In a bigger way. Not a half-ass face to the sun world. Allow all of you, your truth, your authenticness, to be seen and shine through. Skip messages from spirit. Then I'll get you a totem or a power animal. Not a totem, a power animal. But let's let spirit talk to you. Right now on your t it's uh, time is up. The time is up. Hold on. Y'all know I'm holding my deck wrong. <laughs> Spirit like, what you doing, girl? <laughs> You'll be okay. Time is up. Mm -hmm. There's no re no going back into the past. What's done is done. There's you've already changed. Look, your present moment has changed. The past into a new future for you. You'll be okay. You'll be absolutely okay. It's a time for reflection. Yeah. Reflecting. Reflecting. What are you reflecting? What is the back of your brain? Your moon energy. Your subconscious. What is it reflecting to the front of your face? It's got you holding yourself. Oh. Let me hide part of it. Don't hide it. It's a time to reflect, to shine for others. It's only darkest before the dawn. Mm -hmm. You're nervous about uh, coming out? I don't know what it is you're doing, but you, you're going to be very nervous about letting, uh, letting people see where you've been and sharing that part of yourself. But once you do, it's going to explode. It's going to take it over the top. Mm -hmm. over the top because you've got some unfolding beauty left to finish. Autophagy is happening right now in this moment for you. Yes, it is. It's recomping, recompositioning your thoughts, your feelings, and your body. Time to level up. Yes, it is. Turn your face to the sun. Allow everyone to see the real truth of you. Life is aligning for your best and highest potential. It's not time to stop because you have 
yet to reach the highest potential. It's not over until you win. Completely win. You've got a whole new stage of another battle. Don't sit down in it. Don't give up to it. You've already went through the major battle that was needed. You got this one. Reflect on that. Yes. What are you reflecting? What are you reflecting to yourself, but also to the world? This is your breakthrough. Do it. What else? Surrender. Surrender the illusion of, I was supposed to be perfect. No, you were supposed to be exactly as you are. Scars and all. Miracles happen every moment. Surrender to miracles happen. Guys, there are no mistakes. There are no mistakes. There is luck and miracles. That's all that exists. Get it out of your head that there's anything called mistakes, accidents, things like that. No, there's luck and miracles, no matter how you perceive it. It uh, will all work in your favor. You done know this. You done know this. Yes, you do. Your ancestors are thinking you. I don't know what you did, but you broke. You broke a pattern that's ingrained into our DNA that goes out into the future to our future ancestors. Hmm. You're being thanked and somebody's proud of you. I don't know who it is. They're on the other side or they could not be on the other side. And we could be picking up their higher self of chiming in going, I'm so proud of my Taurus. Now, guys, get it. No more playing it small. Go big. Play big. And when you think you have gone big, go bigger. You can do this. Yes, you can, Taurus. Y'all are working towards something. I don't know what it is that is coming, you know, on you. But it has to do with you sharing your recovery process, your healing process. Don't be ashamed of where you've been, where you come from. Wear it proudly. There's so many others that need to know. Your spirit animal is a monkey ingenuity the situation calls for adaptability and innovation the monkey 100 monkeys when when one monkey learns some a uh, new skill new talent something different it tells it to another one by the time it reaches 100 it reprograms their dna and they all across the world never knowing each other never being with each other they nat naturally, innately know it. You, you've done something major. Yes, you did. Your other one is raccoon. Resourcefulness. You have all the resources you need. It's not about what, guys, how, how much I have. It's about how resourceful you are with the resources you have. And you've got a hell of a lot right now because you overcome a battle. Keep going. Taurus, celebrate your achievements, guys. Don't give up. Don't sit down in the new challenge. Face it bravely, boldly. You got it. Sending you love and light. Bless be.